I'm going to show you how to make a goal slash tracker sheet for your students for a classroom or individual goals. So I'm going to show you three different types of goal tracker sheets. Um, this one is something you can use for students to individually track something like a computer program where they have to track their lessons or you could even use it as a re reward sheet. Every time they complete something, they fill in a box with like a star or a check. I'm gonna show you how to make one for your whole class if you were like tracking minutes where you can um, shade in the rows as you reach or get closer to the goal. And then show you this tracker for your whole class, but where you can have individual student names on there. So let's get started by starting a new presentation. Design. Get my default settings. Going to slide size, page setup. Eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm gonna scale up. I'm gonna select the entire page so I can get rid of that, those default text boxes. So now I'm going to go to insert and with this first tracker, since it's for individual students, you want to base the rows and columns on how far they need to get before they reach their ultimate goal. So let's do a four by four table. Um, so I'm going to go up here to the design table design and then switch it to a no style design. And then I'm going to select the entire table go to layout and then adjust the cell size for the height and the width. I want it to be quite large. Let's go one five. Let's see if that fits. Okay, that works for me. And then I'm gonna put a text box for the student name, let's change the font and the size. Name, um, I don't want it bold. And then we're going to put a line for them to write their name. So I'm going to duplicate this to make the title. Let me move the name up. And then down here, get rid of the line and then rename this for the title. So let's stretch that out. We can make that a different font we want. So there's our super math lessons goal sheet and then give the students some instructions. Let's go back to Gothic, regular, and 24. Make it a little bit smaller and then put that like closer to where the box is. Let's make this name a little bit smaller. Okay, so there's our first goal tracker. For the students so let's do another one so the next one we're going to do is like a whole class weekly goal sheet so I'm going to use you can use any shape I'm going to do an arrow you can do like a thermometer or a circle just a square would be fine as well so here's my arrow I'm going to put no fill and then make the line black and then make the line three point thickness. So there it is. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna add lines going back to my shape shortcut and then add in a line. Um, and I think probably I'll do like Maybe 10 lines would be work, would work. So for this, I'm gonna zoom in. So there's the line and I'm gonna switch it to black and then switch the thickness to three as well. 
make sure it's touching the edges and I'm going to duplicate that and go up um, try to estimate it with my eye we're at we're going to use the line button so it's okay if it's not perfect so then I'm going to hit duplicate again duplicate 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 and I actually want this line to match up with where the head meets like the stem of the arrow. So now, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll use, I'll do probably three or four more at the top, but these, I want them to be distributive, distributive equally. So I'm going to go to arrange, after I selected them, go to arrange, align, and then distribute vertically so that they have an equal amount of space. So I'm going to select this one and then hit duplicate and try to do the same amount and then duplicate again and then duplicate one more time and then make sure they're distributed evenly. Go back to shape format, arrange, align, distribute vertically. All right, so they pretty much were in the right spot. And then I'm going to stretch these lines to reach the edge. Make sure this one's not overlapping. Okay, so before I add anything else, I want to select all of the items and then group them together. And then I'm going to save it as a picture. So now I am going to open up a new blank page and insert that arrow. And with an image, I can resize it however I want and nothing gets moved out of place. I can even turn it sideways or downward if I want, but I'm going to leave it up here. Okay, so now we're going to add in some other features. Let's add in a text box for the title. We can put class weekly super math minutes. So if your class, you're tracking your minutes, if you meet those weekly minutes and every week that you meet them, you can fill in a row. All right, let's get that all on the same line. I made this up. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be there. We want that there. Let's put the name of the teacher. So if it was someone's class you can put um, let's change the font um, let's change it to marker felt this is Jones class homeroom class Bring that in down here, and then we can add in like a little bubble just saying what they should do. Bubble like that, go to no fill and a black outline, and then type inside input. Um, Don't want that. There we go. Oh, okay, I think the text is white, so let's switch it to black and make it larger and change the font and say um, shade in a row each week that your class meets your minutes goal. 
something along those lines. All right, we're gonna lower the size. Let's stretch this out just a little bit. And then we can turn it, put it up here. All right, I think that works. And then just to add a little bit of, just make it more eye-catching, let's add in some border. So I like to just add in an entire rectangle. And then I'm going to put white background and I do want a black line. I want my black line two way. Let's go with six for now. And I want, well, let's send this to the back. So I'm gonna right click, send to back. But let's change the line. So let's do like this squiggly line. I think that'll be cute. And then we're going to bring it in just a little bit. That looks good. So then everything else, we don't want to touch in the border, so we'll just bring it in just slightly. Make this smaller. Put that there. And then I think, let's go down to that. All right, that works. Class Weekly Super Math Minutes. All right, so there's your data tracker for that one. And you can save that and print it out. So then, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then let's do one more data tracker. So let's insert a new blank slide. I'm gonna to go to Insert table, insert table. <clears throat> so this, let's imagine if you wanted to track points for something or like if you wanted to track if your students were doing their homework each week. So I would need a column for each student. So let's say 20 students, but then I would want two columns for labels. And then if I was doing it per nine weeks, that'll be nine week, nine rows. But then I need some rows for labels as well. So I'm going to do insert that way and then go to no style and then go up to layout and let's adjust the size. And then let's adjust the width. That's too long, that's too small. Let's change this to 0 0.35. <clears throat> let's see if I can go up one. Okay, so that works. All right, so we're gonna section off this table so I know I want the bottom section to be for the student names we're gonna go to table design and go to pen color make sure you have the color that you want selected and the size you want selected so I'm going to choose three and I'm just gonna trace over the line that I want to be darkened or to have an outline and there you go we have that and then up here, so I'm going to use the first two columns to show the weeks. And I want this tracker to be for an one quarter of the year or one set of nine weeks. So I'm going to take these first two. Let me undo. Select those, go to layout, and then merge. Let's change our font. Let's go with marker felt wide, center, and in the middle. 
and let's say this is going to represent our weeks. I'll leave that S down there for now. And then here I'm going to have the number of weeks. I need to merge these two columns for each row. So let's go back to layout, merge, merge. So they're all merged. I want to change the font. So I'm going back to the home. Go to marker felt wide to make the size large, middle, or centered, and middle. So let's, since we're doing the nine weeks, and then down here, I'm going to merge these two columns to merge and then change the font. Let's go with thin. And I put student names. And then down here, let's stretch out these cells a little bit more. So go back to layout and then we're going to lengthen the height. So we're going to increase that, make it go down the page a little bit more so that you have room for those student names. Now we can adjust the font. And for weeks. All right, so then let's put our heading. We're going to merge these cells and then go to table design and give it like a light shade so it's a little bit different. And then we're going to go and add in text. Let's go wide. Um, let's put first nine weeks homework, first nine weeks class homework tracker. And we can lower the size just a tad to get it all there. Let's center it, put it in the middle. We can outline this section as well, just like we did at the bottom. So get that pen color. Uh-oh, undo. And then we can outline our weeks on the side. We can do our student names as well. Okay, so then the last thing we're going to do is change the direction of the student name so you can type them in sideways. So we're going to go back to the home ribbon and then select text direction and do the rotate all text 270 degrees. And then while we're here, change the font to one that you want. Let's go marker thin. And at this point, you put in your student names. I will leave a blank copy, but just to show you an example, we can, um, if someone's name was, let's just put some random names. Ashley, let's make this a little bit larger.
I'll just zoom in. Um, Bobby, Cameron, David, Tamaya. All right, so those are really made up names. Not anyone in my class. There we have our homework trackers that you can make and you can adjust and move around. Since everything was in a table, we don't need to save it as a picture because everything will move together. So we have our three different types of goal tracking sheets that you can make with your students. Mm -hmm.